Eighth graders will receive a registration form with ninth grade listed at the top. This form is designed for you to select which courses you wish to take next year, your first official year of high school, as you begin coursework to meet your graduation requirements and prepare for your future college and career goals. Your form should be pink in color. This official form will also have a name label at the top. Hopefully you have completed your four-year plan over the last few weeks. Taking the time to thoughtfully consider your long-term goals and using this to consider your course needs and options during high school will make the registration process quicker and easier for you this year. The first step in preparing to register is to print your four-year plan from your Google Drive. Make sure your name is printed or written on top. This four-year plan will need to be stapled to your official registration form before you submit it to your advisor for their review and signature. The next step is to place your four-year plan next to your registration form. You will notice that some of the courses on your registration form have been crossed out. This notifies you that you may not be eligible for this course because it is a course designed for students of a different grade level. Future registration forms will look different as new courses become available to you each year. The recommended grade level for students to enroll in a course is listed in more detail in the registration handbook. You are encouraged to look ahead at all your options as you plan for the courses you wish to take in future years. You will also notice that some courses are already circled on your registration form. This simplifies the process for you because it automatically registers you for the courses that you are required to take to meet graduation requirements. Please review the instructions on your registration form. They instruct you to circle the courses you wish to register for. Take note of the fact that some courses show two numbers to circle before the course name. Courses with two numbers are taken for two quarters and because each full block course is equal to 0.5 credits per quarter, these courses will show they are worth one full credit since they will be taken for two quarters. As shown in the instructions, and as you can see on your four-year plan, with the number of boxes you are allowed to fill in each year, the maximum number of credits you could earn each year is eight. Therefore, the maximum number of classes or credits you can register for on your registration form is the equivalent of eight credits. Don't be confused by circling study halls. They are listed with credits so you can add them to your form and tally up to eight credits. However, you technically don't earn credits by taking a study hall. You will proceed with completing your form by looking at your four-year plan and your intended courses for next year and then going to your registration form and making sure all the correct courses you wish to take are circled accordingly. Please double check your selections by making sure you have circled the correct courses and they total up to eight credits of time. This should also match up to the number of boxes you filled in on your plan. If you are in a music class, please take a moment to look at these boxes on your registration form. It is important that you realize that each music class, choir, band, or orchestra is taken during one half of a block of time on our school schedule. Therefore, you earn 0.25 credits each quarter rather than the 0.5 credits earned with all other courses. This is why you will notice four numbers before each class name. You are registering to take the music class all year for four quarters and a quarter credit times four quarters equals one full credit. If you take only one music, then you must also circle the study hall option in this section because we have no classes for you to take for just one half of the block of time opposite your one music with the exception of accounting which you can choose to take in 10th through 12th grade. Therefore on your four-year plan taking one music equals four boxes on your plan. On your form, this is also tallied as two credits of time when adding up the total number of courses to be taken each year, and you would circle the four numbers before both the music class and the study hall. 
If you are taking two musics, then circle the numbers before each of your music classes accordingly and tally this as a total of two credits. Moving to the back side of your form, once you have made all your course selections, double check the total credits of time you have registered for and make sure this totals up to eight as you fill out the back. Do not register for any more or any less than this. Moving down to the alternates, it is very important that you complete this section and do it correctly. These blanks will be used if the courses you selected above can't all be scheduled for you. Reasons may include the elective course you requested did not have enough students enrolled in order for it to be offered, or the course becomes full, or two courses are offered at the same time so you can't take them both in the same year. Completing your alternates can be easier when you have a four-year plan. For example, let's say in ninth grade you plan to take Spanish 1 along with Art Foundations and Choir with Study Hall. Now you need to think about what your priorities are if these won't fit and you need to drop one of these electives. Of your choices, which elective class are you willing to drop first? Let's say you're most willing to give up art for ninth grade. Then your first and second drop on your form would be Art Foundations. Now, looking at your plan, you can find it difficult to find alternatives when you have music filling four boxes each year. But don't get discouraged, get creative. Let's say you really want your Spanish. You could consider taking Spanish 2 in ninth grade, since that is in your plan for 10th grade, and place this as your first alternate in place of art. This would be your alternate 1 and 2. Then you might up taking art in 10th grade in place of the Spanish 2. You see on your form that you still have three more alternates to list. Maybe next you are willing to give up choir. Therefore, your third, fourth, and fifth drops will be choir, along with the study hall. What might you add for alternates? On your four-year plan, you plan to take principles of business in 12th grade to meet your career standard. However, this class is open to ninth grade, and it might work out well to get this career requirement met. So you could add this class as your third alternate Now it might feel a little more difficult when looking at your four-year plan. There aren't many more electives that are a possible fit for you to take in ninth grade. Next, you should consider your career and college goal and consider this as you weigh your options of courses available to you in ninth grade. You may wish to look through the Blue Earth Area Registration Handbook, as well as look at the courses you would take at Riverland for your current plan of study to be a medical assistant after high school. Once you look at the medical assisting program at Riverland, you will notice that you will take a computer applications course and another course called office procedures. In order to have some skills in this area, you could add a similar course from our business department. Practical software and money management might be good options to add as alternates. These could be added as alternates 4 and 5. Unfortunately, with the way our schedule is built, you can't just give up study hall, which is opposite one music class because these are actually just one half blocks of time and there are no classes offered during that half block time slot. Plus remember, you can't drop a class that you need to take to meet graduation requirements Therefore, your final drop would likely need to be choir. Your schedule will be arranged in priority order based on how you complete this form with preference being given to the first class you would drop and the first alternate class you would add. Your form should now be complete. One final item on the back side of your form is to consider if you fail any classes, it will be important that you keep track of this and note this on your registration form. It's possible that you failed a class in eighth grade and will be expected to retake a core class, which will then affect your ability to move forward with the core classes in the registration process. You will continue to update your four-year plan 
as you take core required classes and continue to pass those as you progress through high school. Keep in mind, your four-year plan may need to be rearranged if you are a transfer student from another school and you end up taking things in a different order. You will also adjust your four-year plan each year based on the courses you end up enrolling in throughout the year and the classes that you do or do not pass. It is very important that you do the best job possible completing this registration form correctly and that you register for what you truly want and need. We will build the final master schedule based upon what you request on this form. So do not take this lightly and assume you can just change your schedule later. We need to plan for staffing in the correct number of sections in each class based upon the choices students make. The final step of this process is to get signatures on your forms. Student, parent, and advisor signatures should be obtained on both the registration form and your four-year plan. Staple these two forms together and submit them to your advisor. They will then turn them into the high school office for you. These are due by February 26th.